I am here to tell you that the Jester's army has grown massive. One thing's for certain, me and Storm are going to cancel this battle today. Silurians. Stop! 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 Doctor! Come back and get yourself killed! Let's all resolve this, not by fighting, but a good old coin flip! Come on, let's fight! Oh! Doctor! No! Spartacus alive, get rid of the Jester, send the Silurians back to their home, civilization under the ground, and uh, don't die. Sounds good enough, but one thing is, the Silurians have guns, and the Spartacus has a sword, so you can kill them just like that. This thing here creates an invisible shield around you, as long as you have it on you. That way, you can run into the battle, grab Spartacus, keep him safe, without even getting hurt. Only problem is, it's my only one. So, that's the problem. I hope you'll protect yourself. Don't worry about me, Storm. I'll be fine. I promise. You sure? Can't just give it to you this session. Oh, don't be so silly. If they shoot me, I can regenerate. Plus, I can dodge pretty easily too. Okay, Doctor. Be safe. Good luck, Storm, and don't forget. Spartacus cannot die here. I'm not risking it. I don't want to risk changing history. No matter what happens to me, I must fight. Spartacus, what the hell do you think you're doing? You're running straight to your death. You can't die here. Not, not here, not now. Why? Ah, I forget I said that. The question is, do you want to live or not? That's my men. They're all being murdered at the hands of these creatures. I must fight. But, but I can't abandon my men like this. I can't be safe. I'm sorry. Now I believe it's time to go. Empire! The Empire!
like the Fire Lions! Oh, and don't forget me. Soon enough, we will rule this planet. Really? Doctor! Do you think you and Storm can defeat me and my army? Oh yes I do. I remember those sword fights, and I'll remember how each of them went. Times have changed, Doctor. I'm so sorry about you, man. It's okay. They now have the gods to take care of them now in the afterlife. Hold on. Didn't you and your friend say you were gods? Don't worry. We'll take, friend, we'll take care of your friends in the afterlife. Don't worry. Hello, Doctor. I've created a pocket dimension to tell you something. What do you want? Why not rule over some vacant planet? Why choose Earth and make it more difficult for yourself? More difficult? I think you mean more fun, Doctor. I've heard whispers, Doctor. Whispers throughout the universe. Things are coming for you, Doctor. <laughs> things are always coming for me. Yes, but these things that are coming for you, Doctor, they aren't good. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried for you, Doctor. These things that are coming for you, they scare me. Like mega, mega scares. What else do you know about these things? Oh, is that turn up already? What a shame. Back to reality now, Doctor. <laughs> no, 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 tell me more. <laughs> Storm, I'm back. Gordon Tug, Doctor. What happened? Nothing. But the only thing that matters right now is that we still need to sort out the Jester and the Silurians. What did you mean earlier when you said I couldn't die here? Not now. Um, Storm? Sorry, Doctor. It slipped out. Spartacus. Me and my friend Storm, we know a lot about you. And you can't die here. This is not where you die. This is not the year you're supposed to die. We can't let you die early. Well, do you know when I do die? I can't tell you that. It's too much information for you. It's too risky. Oh, I do. How about right now? Cause of death, tissue compression. Oh, Doctor, I'm so sorry. I thought I could die. You didn't have to kill him! I did though, didn't I? 
He was the last soldier in the army to kill! Do you not understand what that could have done to history? Not much. It might have changed a few dates in the history books, but... That's about it! That's me taking over the Roman Empire with the Silurians and then killing the Silurians after I rule the entire world, however... Yeah, that might change history a little bit. See you soon! Storm White here. I'm off to see what the Jester's done to history, considering he conquers Earth. What was part of his death? Do you think that affected history? I think we're lucky with that, Storm. I think the Jester was right. I think it wouldn't have changed too much. Maybe a couple of dates in history books, etc. But it shouldn't have changed Earth too much. We're very lucky. I don't think his death affected history as much as we thought it would. Which is good. What a relief. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Don't worry, I'll program the TARDIS to land about one second after I leave. So I'll be back in a few seconds from now. Just be safe for that one second, please. Yeah. See ya! Storm, we need to stop the Jester and the Silurians now. If not, Earth will be completely destroyed by 2024. Saw it, Storm. 2024, engulfed with fire, ash, destruction, death. We need to stop the Jester and the Silurians now because we can't let that become Earth's future. Why is that, Doctor? I overheard the Jester speaking about him killing us once we've helped him take over Earth. So, we are no longer going to work for him. We will no longer be his army. And we will now retreat back to our civilization under the ground. How dare you all! How dare you all turn your back on me! The one who helped you! The one who promised you to rule Earth! And how dare you even spy on my conversations! And do you know what that means? Immediate execution to you all! You're evil! They helped you! Oh, that's sweet of you to say! They did help me! But I don't need their help anymore! If they are going to abandon me like that, and betray me, then why should I work with them? Anyways! I can take over Earth on my own just fine, thanks. This world is soon going to understand how small they can be in life. <laughs> You got lucky today, Doctor. This isn't the end. I will be back. I will return. Counting on it. Silurian, thank you so much. And I'm so sorry for what the Jester did to your people. It's unforgivable. So, I'm offering to take you back to your civilization under the ground. You up for that? Right, Storm. Back to the TARDIS, eh? Yeah, but I think you've forgotten a, a wee thing, Doctor. The shield. Oh, yeah, Storm. Forgot about that. I'll keep this somewhere safe in the TARDIS for when we might need it in the future. Right, 
That's the Silurian dropped off underground. And I've checked present day Earth. It's all back to normal now. Except for a few minor changes because of Sparkus' early death. But nothing too crazy. Nothing to worry about. Well done, Doctor. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, Storm. Thanks for your help, Storm. Any time, Doctor. What's that? When did that get there? I have no clue. Strange. Anyways, where to next? Let's make it grand. Make it exciting. Oh, I can do just that for you, Storm. Let's go for a surprise, shall we? Things are coming for you, Doctor. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried for you, Doctor. Anyways, where was I? Universe, whatever you are, whatever you bring, here we come. Ooh, are you ready, Storm? Let's go. Fish.